Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Arkham Horror LCG playthrough. And we are continuing our run through the Feast of Hemlock Vale campaign with Wilson Richards. And uh, we are at the second night scenario. And uh, before this we did the prelude of the uh, second night. Uh, basically nothing really major happened. We decided to uh, dance um, by ourselves and talk to somebody rummaging through the coat hanger or something like that. And nothing really spectacular happened. Uh, we got one bonus experience out of it. And we also got the Pearl Diary added to our deck. Uh, I will not probably be using this that much, but at least if we can find a uh, investigation tool, this gives uh, plus one intellect during day scenarios and uh, one plus one willpower during night scenarios, and there is a bonus power too. Speaking of deck upgrades, uh, we had five experience from the Silent Heath scenario and two from the Prelude, so I had seven experience to upgrade, so I added a second uh, level three cleaning kit, and I upgraded both of my lockpicks to level one, and I got rid of uh, push to the limits, because I haven't played them at all this run, uh, so I took hand-eye coordination. This is great uh, if we need to compress actions, so we can have a free action to either investigate with a tool asset or fight with the chainsaw. So, those were the upgrades I did to my deck. We are set up here and we decided to go investigate the Hemlock House. So, um, we are playing the Hemlock House during the night, so there are no uh, patrons or uh, the uh, residents anywhere here. We are just exploring the house and trying to figure out what is the uh, strange infestation here. So that is basically everything. So without further delay, let's get started. Last thing I forgot to mention is that because we are not following Dr. Marquez, uh, we are on our own uh, exploring Hemlock, so we have to add one tablet, one Elder Thing token and one Skull token to the Chaos Pack for the remainder of the campaign. So maybe the mission is a bit easier, or the scenario, but the bag will be a lot heavier. Uh, let's start by reading our act and agenda. So, agenda first. Eerie silence. Your first steps into the old manor come with a fated odor and an intense feeling of being watched. The air is too still and for an ab abandoned house there is an unsettling lack of dust on the fl furniture and floors. If nobody wa has lived here for years, then why does it feel like everything has moved recently and the doom threshold is too? The agenda uh, or the act reads uh, Strange infestation. Clues cannot be discovered from locations with no investigators. Action. If your location is unsealed and dormant, investigators at that location spend one clue per investigator as a group, place one resource on it as a seal. Objective at the end of the round. If a total of seven locations are sealed and or in the victory display, advance. So our, um, Goal is to gather clues and seal off these uh, locations the best we can before bad things start to happen. So, uh, we are ready to begin our first turn. I will um, draw my opening hand, so we give a quick shuffle to our deck and hope we uh, find, find the chainsaw this time. So now we can do a normal mulligan. So the um, no mulligan rule is only on, on today's scenarios because we do the prelude uh, mulligan du during the setup there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. 
and we find the chainsaw and nihilism and <laughs> okay so this actually looks like a really good starting hand because we want to get clues uh, only thing missing is a tinker but I think we can live with that so let's shuffle our deck and hopefully get some clues because we can drop the shroud of the foyer and the dining room here down to one with the matchbox so I think that's our plan okay so first action uh, we'll play the chainsaw and I have been forgetting to use uh, Wilson's ability to play two, the first tool asset every round one cheaper. So now we remember that. So the chainsaw only costs three. Then I think I will just do uh, investigate here. So. Uh, we will investigate four, uh, five versus two. And uh, elder thing is a minus four. If you fail and it is, the agenda, it is agenda 2A or 3A, after the test results, remove this token uh, from the chaos bag and add it to the predation back so we fail of course we do because we were three up and we pull a minus four well that's all come for you so i think i'm trying to investigate using the wing it so we are investigating three versus one plus one, so at least we got this clue. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw scene of the crime and gain a resource. So that is the first round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card is strange mutations. Uh, test willpower 5. Reduce the difficulty of this test uh, by one for each horror on you. If you fail, you must either take two horror or discard two cards at random from your hand. And um, nothing to commit. So I'm testing 3 versus 4. So I'm uh, pretty sure we're taking some horror here. Zero. So we just fail it. Uh, I'm actually okay with losing these cards from my hand, so rather than taking the horror, I'll lose these two. So the matchboxes and old keyring are gone. Well, that sucks. I really would have wanted to play the matchboxes down. Oh well. Um, uh, first action, we will use the clue to place a seal here. So, uh, just to remind how this works. If your location uh, is unsealed and dormant, investigators at that location spend one clues as a group, place one resource on it as a seal. At the end of the round, if a total of seven locations are sealed and or in the victory display advance. So we are one of seven down. And then this location has uh, First triggered ability, during your turn, move to a connecting location, limit once per turn, and there is also a resign. So I'm using the free action to move here. And uh, there is a forced ability here. After you discover the last clue at this location, discard one card at random from your hand. Well, uh, we are going to play winging it from our discard pile. So I'm investigating three versus one, and if I succeed, I'll get two clues out of here. Uh, three versus one. 
I'm com I'm committing this uh, to the test. Yeah. So four versus one. It is a skull. Skull is x. X is your current floor number to a minimum of one. So this is the first floor, second, third, fourth, and the basement would be zero. So we succeed, we shuffle, winging it into our deck, and we get two clues. And, um, let's see. I did this, I had a free move. Uh, I investigated, so I have one action left, which I'll use to spend one clue to place a seal here too. And that is our turn. No enemies uh, will go to upkeep. We draw one card, which is hand-eye coordination, and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so the agenda advances. So we get the living house. At the sound of a creaking wood, you spin to face the hole you came from. Everything looks as it was, and yet you can shake the feeling that things are subtly different. Letting out a held breath, you resume your investigation, only to find the furniture in your room settling into place, like children playing a game of musical chairs. A slimy tentacle retreats between a gap in the woods. The rumors regarding Hemlock House were only half right. There is something living within the, its walls, but it is something far worse than you could have imagined. Shuffle each copy of the set aside out of the walls and pulled in treacheries into the encounter deck, along with the encounter discard pile. So we'll shovel pulled in and out of the walls. Along with the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Okay, next. Uh, find the unsealed drawment location nearest to the most investigators. Flip that location to its enemy location side. Find the set aside the predatory house story card and resolve its text. So the closest location is here. So we flip this library to the enemy side. Then we have this predatory house. Create a separate bag consisting of the following tokens, cultist, tablet and elder thing. If you do not have a second bag, you can use a cup, bowl or other opaque container. This is the predation bag and these are predation tokens, they are not chaos tokens. Then add the following tokens to the predation bag based on the current day. So it is day 2, we add one cultist token to the predation bag. Some abilities will instruct investigators to make a predation test. A predation test may cause the house to come alive and prey on the investigators. The resolve are to resolve a predation test, reveal a random token from the predation bag and resolve the effects for that token as indicated on the other side of the card. Flip this card over and place it next to the scenario reference card. And uh, what do you know? I have prepared the predation bag. So that is my predation bag, which we will pull when needed. Keep it there. Okay, and uh, we still need to read uh, Agenda 2A. The house stirs. It is no mere infestation of rats or woodland creatures that haunts this decrepit manor. Something vile lives in Hemlock House. It 
burrows through the floor, writes within its walls, and watches you with invisible hungry eyes. Forced, when the mythos phase ends, make a predation test. Either place one clue of per investigator of your clues on your location, or remove a seal from it. Ready it and flip it over. Okay, so we need to make a predation de test like uh, every round. So fast trigger debil either place one clue of your clues on your location or rem remove a seal from it, ready it and flip it over. Okay. Uh, okay, we still need to resolve our card here. So, uh, Miss Miasmatic Shadow, a loaf hunter, elusive at night, uh, cannot be damaged except by spell, relic, or science, or encounter cards. Force, when you discard one or more cards from your hand at the Miskatonic Shadow's location, it is if it is ready, it engages you and makes an immediate attack. So we really don't want to hang around with this guy or get the last clue from here. Okay, well, uh, I think we leave the clue here. And let's see what this library is. Uh, living library. Three, five, uh, three sh uh, shadow. Um, yeah. Uh, massive cannot make attacks of opportunity. Living library gets plus one health per investigator, so it has five health. Force, when this enemy location is revealed, each investigator at this location and each connecting location takes one horror. So we took one horror. So it is a Shroud of Tree, so we fight against it with... Uh, I think we can go and kill it with the chainsaw. So we'll move. We will... Hand eye coordination, the chainsaw. We are hitting a six versus three. Skull is your current floor, so it minus two, so we hit deal three damage. We'll I uh, use our second action to chainsaw again. And it is a plus one, so we defeat this location. And the scenario rules tell us that now the washroom above us will drop down and we are at that location now. So we'll actually use this fast trigger ability to move one clue out of here down here and as a la last action we will seal this location. Uh, enemy face, this hunts here but it is aloof We'll go to upkeep, we draw another hand-eye coordination and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We added to... I actually just remembered we needed to do the predation test last round. So we'll do it again. Uh, or we do it before we resolve this round. So we find a tablet. Uh, each enemy location attacks each investigator at that location. If no attacks was made by this effect, the lead investigator draws the top card of the encounter deck, return this token and each set aside token to the predation back. So we would have drawn an elevation. So we're testing uh, 
<coughs> remember this is still the last round we are just uh, uh, correcting that we forgot to do this test so we are testing uh, fist 5 reduce the difficulty for each damage on you so it is uh, fist 3 so 3 versus 3 test and uh, minus 1 uh, if you fail, you must either take two damage or choose a card with the highest printed cost in your hand and discard it. So we take two damage because we use the card we had in hand. Okay, <coughs> now... <coughs> so, we're back to this round. Uh, we place the Doom, we'll draw the encounter card. So this round, Alien Whispers, test willpower 3. For each point you fail by, you must uh, choose one, take one damage, which can only be assigned to an asset you control. Uh, take one horror, which can only be assigned to an asset you control. Discard one card at random from your hand. That sucks, because we really don't want this guy engaging us because we can't damage it with a chainsaw. So we are testing uh, 3 versus 3 and hoping we get lucky. Minus 4, not to be. So we discard this card from our hand. This engages us and it makes an immediate attack. Okay. We are hurting badly now. Now we make a predation test again. Uh, it is the same thing, so we draw the top card of the encounter deck. It is locked door, so we'll decide to uh, Location with the most clues, so let's put it here. And this is engaged with us. Okay, well, uh, we are in trouble, so to speak. Uh, only three health and three sanity left, and we don't have any cards in hand, and this guy is engaged with us, so the only thing we can do is uh, try to evade it because uh, we can't kill it. So we are invading 3 versus 3 and hoping we get super lucky with this test. Okay, 3 versus 3. Uh, minus 2, we'll try again. 3 versus 3. Minus 1, no luck. Last try of the round, 3 versus 3. Ah, oh, thank god, plus 1, so we evade this motherfucker. And that is our whole turn. We draw deduction and gain a resource. Uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. It is... Uh, Two of five encounter card for this round is pulled in. If there are no enemy locations in play, pulled in gains search. There are none, so we search it and it is downpour test. Uh, book three, for each point you fail by, you must either lose one action or place one of your clues onto your location. Okay, so this might be a turn where we don't get any um, actions done. Three versus three. Minus four. We don't have any clues, so we lose all of our actions. Then we do the predation test, so things are looking really bad. And it is the same goddamn <laughs> tablet. Uh, strange mutations. Test willpower five. Reduce the difficulty by one for each horror on you. Uh, we are testing willpower uh, three against two. Minus three. We fail. We'll take two damage because we don't want this guy engaging us. And 
yeah, that is our turn. No enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we draw, find clothes, and we gain a resource. And we're one uh, horror away from getting defeated, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card is another of these guys. Well, uh, I think this round will just run away, far away. Okay, we'll do the predation test and uh, hope it's not something else than that stupid tablet. Okay, what does this uh, one do? Set this token aside. Find the unsealed dormant location nearest to the lead investigator. Flip that location to its enemy location side. So it is the washroom here. And the washroom has three helper investigator. Four shroud room monster elite massive. You cannot make attacks of opportunity force when the enemy location is revealed. If there are one or more clues on it, it attacks each investigator at its location. Well, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. We set this token aside. And uh, luckily we don't draw anything, so I think we'll just head there and kill that location. Uh, it only has three health per investigator, so the chainsaw will kill it if we hit. And um, just uh, checking. Yeah. So I think <clears throat> the correct play is to play the fine clothes. Move down here and investigate using the deduction. Because we still need to seal four more locations, which is crazy. Okay, so four versus two. Minus two, so we grab these two clues. We don't have any cards in hand to discard. And that is our turn. Enemy face, these hunt here. They are elusive. We go to upkeep, we draw ad hoc and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, 4 of 5, Encounter card is Locked Door, uh, let's put it there. So, uh, we'll move, we'll use the free move, we'll seal one location, and we'll move over here. And that is our turn. Uh, let's make these guys hunt over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need two, three more. Okay, so upkeep, we draw a matchbox and we gain a resource. So that, oh uh, yeah, back up. We forgot to do this stupid test again. So, let's see. Uh, we get a cultist, uh, set this token aside, so nothing happened, so we're good. So, yeah, that was that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom, so the agenda actually advances. Dark and stormy. 
Uh, tumulus rain pelts the roof of the house. The sky outside is smat, sma, swatted in dark clouds, illuminated only by brief flashes of light in the distance. Your skin crawls as the groan and creaks are muffled by the roar of thunder and the downpour crashing against the windows. Just then, bright light floods the room and a resounding crack booms from the top floor of the house. The smell of burning wood drifts down into the halls. Lightning has struck the house. Find the unsealed dormant location nearest to the most investigated. Rip that location to its enemy location side. And that's the set aside fire treachery to the leftmost location on the highest floor. Shuffle each other copy of fire into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. So there's fire there, and we shovel uh, the rest of these in with the encounter discard pile to the encounter deck. So let's read what the fire does. Uh, revelation. Uh, attach fire to the nearest location with no copy of fire. Attach connecting to a location with fire. Attach if able. Action test for uh, agility. If you succeed, discard fire. Forced at the end of the round, each card with health at this location takes one direct damage. Okay. We draw our encounter card of the round. Uh, let's first read the rest of this. So that goes away. Living walls. Either the house is alive or the creature within its walls has grown to encompass its, it entirely. Your only hope now is to either secure all of the rooms, turn this place into rubble or flee and make the so sure nobody ever ventures near this place again. Forced when the mythos phase ends, make a predation test. A fast triggered ability either place one of your clues on your location or remove a seal from it. Uh, ready it and flip it over. Okay, so the encounter card is rats. That we can just try to punch. And uh, we do the predation test, which will which will it be? It is a cultist, so uh, we know next round it will be the uh, tablet. And Okay, so we had to flip this to the enemy side. And it is a living library. Massive cannot make attacks of opportunity. Living library gets plus one health per investigator. It has five health then. Forced, when this enemy location is revealed, uh, each investigator at this location and each connecting location loses two resources. Well, that we don't mind at all. So, uh, we will punch the rats. Oh yeah, these I think have haunted. Let's see. No, they, they are here. So, uh, first action, we will punch the rats. Three versus one. Minus two, so the rats are defeated. Mm, we will play, <coughs> uh, maybe we won't play the matchbox. Uh, oh yeah, we lost the two resources, which I forgot to do. Yeah, I think we'll just running. So second action, we'll play the matchbox down. Not going to use it yet. And it is free because it's a tool. 
Last action will just move up here to the bedroom. So X is one more than this location's floor number, so it is four. Uh, after you place a seal on this location, draw one card or gain two resources. Okay. I think we are drawing cards. So these enemies hunt over here, upkeep. We draw the Hemlock Curse and we gain a resource. So, at the end of your turn, <coughs> if Hemlock Curse is in your hand, discard one card at random from your hand. And uh, uh, if we fail the uh, skill test, which we com uh, commit this to, uh, we lose our whole hand. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Now we add a Doom. Uh, the current threshold is 8, so 1 of 8. Encounter card is downpour again. Uh, yeah, uh, we are testing 3 versus 3. Hopefully, we can get at least one slucky in this game with this, this uh, kind of test. And we did, so plus one, so we don't lose our whole turn this time. Okay, let's think. Uh, I am using the matchbox as a fast action to lower the shroud to three. I will uh, investigate. I'll commit the ad hoc and I'll commit the hemlock curse to this test. So we are investigating uh, three, four against three. Not liking the odds, but we get the, uh, rid of the hemlock curse like this, so... It is a tablet and... Um, minus two, if you fail, heal one damage from the nearest enemy location. Okay, so it, it fails, we discard our hand. Doesn't matter. We'll seal this location. And uh, we'll try to investigate again. Uh, three versus three this time. Plus one. We'll actually get the clue from here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We still need two locations to be sealed. Enemy face. Uh, these guys hunt here. Upkeep. We draw Tinker. Okay. And gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card is... Desiccation. And I think we forgot to do the test last round. Okay, so last round we would have done this and uh, we would have drawn desiccation last round. Okay, so this was discarded. We didn't play any card last round. The matchbox was played before that, so that didn't do anything. Okay, so this round, uh, the encounter card for this round is an Enervation. Okay, we'll test, and we have uh, five damage, so we're testing against zero. Skull is a minus three, we succeed. We do the test for the Prede Predation. <coughs> Call this. That is that. And uh, yeah, first action. We'll move over here. Oh yeah, after you place the seal on this location, draw one card. We drew a card. Okay, lock picks. That's actually good. So, uh, first thing first is we'll play Tinker Fast onto the Chainsaw. Then we'll play Lock Picks, uh, costing two. Uh, second action will move here. Last action will investigate with the lockpicks. 
So we are investigating 7 versus 4. <coughs> I'll use the matchbox to lower it to 3. 7 versus 3. Tablet, uh, each enemy location attacks each investigator at its location. Oh, wrong card. Uh, if you fail, minus three, if you fail, we don't fail, but we break a lockpick. That's okay. We get the clue. And... <coughs> um, did I miss a clue? Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, uh, yeah, no, one, two, three, four, five, no, I, I think I have the correct number of clues. So, enemy face, this is hunt here, upkeep, we draw, overpower, and gain a resource. So, that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, 3 of 8, encounter card is fungal rot. Attach fungal rot to an item asset you control without fungal rot attached. If you cannot fungal rot gain search, treat attach asset text box as if it were blank, except for traits. Test uh, combat 3, if you succeed discard fungal rot, otherwise take 1 damage. I'll put it on the match box. I don't really need it anymore. And um, we'll seal this location. And now we need to seal one more location. So we'll move up here. It's a bit risky. And we will seal. Oh yeah, when we seal this, we'll draw a card. Okay, and two resources. I'll draw a card, Vicious Blow, and I'll move up there. Last action, I will seal this location. Okay. Uh, at the end of the round, if a total of seven locations are sealed and or in the victory display, Advance. Oh yeah, we have one location in the victory display, so we didn't have to do that. Okay, so let's take that back. We won't use that and... So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, we did the ceiling. Uh, we have two more actions. So we'll move, move down here. We might need to resign soon or do something else. Uh, enemy face, this hunt here, upkeep, we draw winging it and gain a resource and at the end of the round we advance. Walls of flesh. If there are more sealed in play than enemy locations in the victory display, your efforts to suppress the strange infestation seem to have angered it. Uh, noisome screech shakes the foundation of the house and the air floods with the fetid stench of something awful down below. Put the set aside shapeless cellar enemy location into play on the cellar floor as close to the middle column as possible. Advance to the set aside Act 2A, the heart of the house and remove Act 2A against the house from the game. Okay. So we do that. So this is removed and we get the shapeless seller. So the shapeless seller has five health and uh, we'll look at that. So we get against the house. Mm, sealing the creature away won't solve anything. Whatever sort of monster has taken over Hemlock House, it uh, needs to be destroyed. Clues cannot be discovered from locations with no investigators. Objective, bring this house down. If no locations are in play, immediately advance. This occurs before investigators would be defeated, by, but not by not being at a location. 
Okay, I think we might need to <laughs> get out, but we'll see. So, um, uh, 3 combat, 5 health, 2 evade, 4 uh, shroud, 3 clues, room, monster elite, massive, retaliate, cannot make attacks of opportunity, shapeless seller, cannot be sealed or flipped. Forced. After you fail a skill test while investigating shapeless seller, shapeless seller attacks you. Forced. If there are no clues on shapeless seller, add it to the victory display. Victory one. <clears throat> so I think uh, we want to go and kill that. But yeah, uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so I, I read uh, put the wrong card in play, so we are. Uh, uh, playing the act 2a the heart of the house uh, So if you want to seal the house for good, you must delve into the lot some sepulcher below Clues cannot be discovered from locations with no investigators action if your location is unsealed and dormant Investigators at the location spend uh, one clues as a group place one resource on it as a seal <clears throat> Forced after an enemy location attacks you move one location at a time to shapeless seller Mm, objective when the shapeless seller is in the victory display advance okay so um, now it makes more sense because uh, we are basically almost sealed off the whole house so it's no point in destroying the whole house we'll just need to go to, into the cellar and try to defeat this guy so we'll try doing that so we basically have one chance to do it uh, we get the free move here <clears throat> then we can use the chainsaw, then we need to punch it twice or, or a second time with the vicious blow to defeat it and that, that is game. But um, we still need to do the um, mythos phase, so we add a doom, the encounter card is pulled in. If there are no enemy locations in play, pulled in gains surge, otherwise test Combat 4. If you fail, choose the nearest enemy location and move one location at a time to it. If you fail by 4 or more, the chosen enemy location attacks you. Okay, so this can ruin us. So we are trying to beat it with our power. So we are testing uh, 5 versus 4. So it is... Um, uh, we can't commit the vicious blow, no way. Five versus four, and it is minus one, so luckily we didn't <laughs> lose the game there. Well, we still uh, will draw a card, we get Jury Rig. Unfortunately, we don't have time to play. Actually, we do. But yeah, uh, we'll still have to do a predation test. So uh, it is a uh, cultist and uh, we don't put it into the bag. Okay, so we have a chance. Uh, let's see, free action. We can play the juridic for or one action. Free move, uh, hit with chainsaw, uh, hit with vicious blow and uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll play the jury rig. Uh, we'll do the free move. We'll hit with the chainsaw using the jury rig. We are hitting 8 versus um, 3. Plus 1. Uh, we could have used that for the next swing. So, uh, last action. We will vicious blow 4 versus 3. So, 4 versus 3, and minus 1, that's, that's awesome. So we defeat the Shapeless Seller, it goes into the victory 
play and we advance. Lay to rest. The house shudders, then stills, sealing off the crevices and nooks where the creature was breaching through the house walls seems to have forced it to retreat or have perhaps lay dormant for a while. Hopefully it won't reserve a spot. In the meantime, the legacy of the Hemlock family still stands. Maybe in time they can find a way to exterminate the creature for good. Flip each enemy location to its location side. Place one resource as a seal on each unsealed dormant location. Resolution 1. Okay, so uh, these are flipped. And we place seals on these. And resolution 1. At long last, the hor horrors of the Hemlock House are behind you. You can only hope the house infestation is gone. Proceed to Resolution 2. Miskatonic Survey, June 1926. Members Marcus Musgrave and uh, et al. Survey of Hemlock House complete. Organism def defies comprehension. Colony of octopodial and gastropodial species infested the entire house. Creatures appear to have uh, evolved into the uh, house proper. Further observation needed. Remove one uh, elder thing token from the predation bag. Return any remaining elder thing tokens in the predation bag to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. If the investigators found little Sylvie, an investigator may add the little Sylvie story asset to their deck. It doesn't count towards that investigator's deck size. Well, we didn't do that. <clears throat> Check the victory display and the number of seals in play uh, when the scenario ended. If there are eight or more seals in play, each investigator earns one bonus experience. If there are ten or more seals in play, each investigator earns one additional experience. So let's check. We have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine seals in play. So we get uh, one bonus experience. If there are eight or more enemy locations in the victory display, uh, there isn't. Yeah, if there is eight or more enemy locations in the victory display. Okay, so we don't do that. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator may now spend the experience recorded under unspent experience in the campaign log. In the areas surveyed section of your camper lock, check off Hemlock Harbor. Ch check your camper lock. Uh, it is night two, turn to prelude, dawn of the final day, page 51. So we got uh, one, two, three experience from this. And we have one, so we have four experience uh, for our upgrades before the prelude of the final day. So, uh, that was a close one. Uh, we were nearly <laughs> defeated by horror in this one, but we managed to pull it through. So, hope you guys like this playthrough and thanks for watching and until next time.